This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Well, like a lot of you, you probably look at Mace as like, you know, he is a legend, okay? And he was one of my favorite rappers at one time, and he's still nice to this day. But Mace recently came out and tried to get on this, you know, downplaying Diddy. And we all know Diddy has questionable practices in the music business. Um, but, you know, he's a ruthless businessman. We know he's not for the artist. Even if he praises that, he's not for the artist. He's really about his pockets, okay? He's uh, tricked people out of their publishing. The Locks infamous uh, battle with him over their publishing. They signed their publishing away. Somehow Diddy was able to talk rappers into signing their publishing away when they first signed to him for a check. So like, and without consulting their lawyer or whatever. So Mace talks about hearing his Grammy speech and now he's the one talking about taking back control. But let's, let's, let's get it right. You know, you were the one that uh, you got to change yourself because your past is really bad you know on the bad boy label you uh gave me uh 20 grand for my publishing i offered to buy it back for two million dollars you didn't accept that you wanted me to match what some guy was offering and and you're up and then he said you know you robbed me of my publishing but mace signed it away it's not like he was forced into doing it it's not like he was uh it wasn't like the mob you know sign this or else you know he wanted the $20,000 check. You know, what it seems like Diddy does is he takes advantage of artists that are in situations where they need the money so bad, they'll sign it away. I'm sure it's not 100%. Maybe it's 50%. I don't know. But the locks uh, eventually got their publishing back after years. Uh, and Mace uh, has been un unable to get his back uh, for some reason. Uh, so... He's he was trying to buy a bag and Puff wouldn't sell it to him, which is a little weird. Um, and I feel him on that. But you made a bad mistake. And a lot of people were saying, why is Mace all of a sudden, you know, 24 years later talking about this and he didn't expose this earlier? And that's a good question. Why now? Now, another thing happened. He called up uh, the, there's a guy named Gene Deal that used to be Puff and Big's bodyguard. Back in the day, we know about him really because of my boy M. Rec. M. Rec really put him out there in the forefront. Um, M. Rec, the only reason he has a YouTube channel right now is because of M. Rec TV. And, you know, I know he broke off on his own. Uh, I'm sure him and M. Rec are still cool, but M. Rec was the one really getting his story out there and putting that uh, documentary into the light. We wouldn't even really paid attention to that if Emrek didn't do that so shout out to Emrek now Mace uh, somehow called Gene Deal yesterday and it was on uh, Gene Deal's show and they had an argument over the night Biggie passed away you know he kept asking Mace Mace was questioning why uh, Gene Deal didn't go after the guys that were uh, you know, did what they did to Biggie. And why is there a picture of Diddy and the guy and Gene Deal, the guy who allegedly, Little C said, allegedly took out Big. And, you know, Gene Deal explained himself. Well, that was before the incident. He walked up to the car. We didn't know who he was. We took a fan picture. And uh, later the, the feds and everybody said, this is the guy uh, or... Little C's pointed, that's the guy. I don't know. Anyways, then he was questioning Mace, why weren't you at the event? And Mace gave the excuse while I was in the hotel room with Brandy. And then he said, well, Brandy wanted to go. Why didn't you let her go? Why did you stay away? And then Mace hung up the phone. So there's more to this story. Uh, May, May, May started, you know, I guess he was mad about certain things Gene Deal was saying about him on his channel. And he wanted to address it. Now, here's another funny thing. <laughs> There's so much to this. It's probably another video coming. Uh, Mace had a group called Harlem World. Now, Cameron said in an interview that uh, Mace did the deal with Jermaine Dupri for $2 million for Harlem World. 
the group. Uh, now, there's allegedly Mace got $2 million for this deal and gave each member of Harlem World like five or $10,000 and kept the rest of the money. I don't know. This is where you get Loon and a bunch of other people. Um, also, there's this story where Mace had something to do with uh, his homie Pop Lottie lost his life because uh, of a guy named Baby Main and this allegedly Mace was, you know, from a cam story camera, someone told, uh, messing with Baby Main's mother, baby mother, something like that, or something like that. And this is why he left Harlem. A lot to these stories. Not everybody's clean out here. Uh, anyways, what do you guys think of what's going on? Um, I'll link the whole thing below with the whole Mace phone call, and I'll check you guys later. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.